What's going on, online family? Scotty Reed here, Black Talk Radio News. I got some commentary. I want to um, make a few comments about those disembodied arms that supposed to belong to Dr. King and Coretta Scott King. And this piece of art that was unveiled in, I think it was Boston area, and it cost like $10 million. And then there's some backstory to, you know, it could have been this African-American a uh, female who was a renowned, you know, uh, uh, artist and sculptor who did Harriet Tubman's, which is somewhere located in Boston. You know, I was following it. I follow a lot of people. So I seen this guy talking about it on Facebook and he gave a lot of detail backstory about it and but who they ended up going with. Um, and then this man creates this disembodied, uninspiring, so-called monument that was supposed to capture some kind of tender moment between Dr. King and his wife. But nobody knows what it is when you look at it. People trying to defend it. Oh, you got to see it from this angle. OK, but if I never seen that photo. OK, and even if I had seen that photo and I happen to go to a city and just see some disembodied arms, you know, if I don't already know the backstory, I'm not going to know whose arms those are. Those are just disembodied arms. And, and in fact, it's kind of morbid and creepy because when I think of disembodied disembodied African-American arms, I'm like, how did they get that way? I'm thinking, you know, uh, dogs ripping apart victims of slavery. Um, police dogs ripping, ripping off limbs, uh, people, you know, quartering people. So, yeah, um, I just didn't like it. And a lot of people don't like it. People, you know, I mentioned it on Facebook that I was going to uh, the Harvey Gantt Museum or Center in downtown Charlotte and the Levine um, Museum to see an art show uh the theme was men of change it is mlk day so uh that was the theme and i got to uh you know talk to one of the artists one-on-one um look at some excellent art I, I saw some stuff that i really liked and um i did network with that one artist so I hope to you know go down to his shop soon but anyway um so i you know man that just that piece of sculpture or of disembodied arms is just does no service and that's why i don't even want to name it i don't even want to give you the artist name and i kind of think he made it about himself okay you basically photoshopped out the picture without and, and then kept the arms maybe 3d modeled the arms you could have did that with anybody arms okay but it's exactly like the picture this big bronze 10 million dollar uh sculpture um that man come on you could have done better than that. And like many people have said, you should have included their their heads and shoulders, not just some disembodied arms. That would have been more appropriate. And then we would know that that's Dr. King and his wife. Then we'll see, oh, why were they smiling? Oh, like they won the lottery. Oh, he just won the Nobel Peace Prize, which comes with money and considering how poor you know, activists struggled back then and Dr. King and, you know, they just can't do, go get a job somewhere. They're boycotting places of employment. They so-called blackball you. But anyway, those are my thoughts. I thought, and I'm being nice with my words or being polite with my words by just calling it uninspiring. Okay, because I could call it tacky, trashy, and well, I just did. Anyway, peace and blessings to to all. Um. Check us out, Black Talk Radio News. Oh, by the way, check out some of the shirts I'm going to have coming out uh, soon featuring some of my art in the product lines that I'm uh, developing to support the uh, nonprofit media organization, Black Talk Media Project. All right, peace and blessings to all.